Hello, my name is Anthony Leishti, and today I'll be talking about how autism spectrum disorder is connected to the artistic world of today. Some classifying traits to autism spectrum disorder are a difficulty in social interaction with others, as well as repetitive patterns of behavior and strong interests, many times in artistic ventures. Something interesting to note is the addition of Asperger's syndrome to the spectrum of autism in the fifth edition of the DSM. This makes sense when one looks at how people with Asperger's syndrome and autism overall are often very involved in artistic ventures. This disorder is often found to be biologically connected to reduced functioning of mirror neurons and genetic variations including a lack of connection with the amygdala making emotions hard to read for individuals with Asperger's. Autism spectrum disorder actually has a very prominent connection to having a talent for the arts. There was recently an article in Time magazine that talked about a study done on child prodigies. Through this study, they discovered a significant connection to autism spectrum disorder. All eight of the kids that they studied showed strong autistic tendencies, while three of them actually were diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. Another interesting article written in 2010 talked about how autism spectrum disorder is slowly but surely making its way into Hollywood. As more information on this disorder becomes available, more TV shows and movies are creating stories and characters associated with autism spectrum disorder. Hopefully making autism more accessible to the general public will remove some of the stigma attached to this disorder. Hi, what's your name, darling? My name is Susan Boyle. Susan Boyle's life changed in 2009. She grew to become an overnight sensation for Britain's Got Talent singing I Dreamed a Dream from Les Mis. I dreamed a dream in time gone by Before her dream of becoming famous happened, she was told that she had brain damage. Susan knew that this was not correct. After her rise of fame, she decided to go to another doctor to get some more information on what was really wrong with her. The doctor finally gave her some answers. She had Asperger's, which is a form of autism. People with Asperger's have poor social skills, are physically clumsy, and have narrowly focused interests. When Susan was diagnosed, she finally understood what was wrong with her. Now she feels more relieved and more relaxed. Hi, uh, my name is Liam Campbell and I have Asperger's Syndrome. I didn't actually find out about my diagnosis until around third grade. My parents were very worried about just a regular behavior I was having compared to other kids my age, such as I was just having really intense meltdowns and I wasn't able to focus in school and I was having really strange social interactions. For a while I had embraced my difference having Asperger's. When I first found out I was very excited about it. I thought that it I thought it was a good thing to brag about, as, especially I guess being young I didn't realize that it wasn't really something that I had bragging rights for. Because later I found out that people weren't as accepting about it and um, I just assumed after a while, especially in high school, that I should not talk about as much, so I kept it pretty closed up for a while. It's definitely made me a lot more self-conscious about how I interact with people because a very primary symptom of Asperger's is that it's really hard to interact with people, and because I kept it bottled up for so long, it made it progressively worse and at least more noticeable, but I did end up forming some form of social anxiety, so it, closing it up definitely has not been the best thing, but it was all I could really think of doing at the time. Well, there is a major belief that being on the autism spectrum disorder can hyperarticulate one's interest in the subject, especially the arts, and I feel that, at least for me, I've been geared towards uh, music. There's a very popular concept about um, autism spectrum disorder where uh, someone who has a disorder is becomes really obsessed with one specific thing and potentially closed-minded as some websites and other people may believe it to be as where you aren't really open to other things but I think being into music the way I am now and how I guess obsessed I am with it now it's far from closed-minded
people tend to see autism spectrum disorder as a primarily negative disorder. The problem with that is autism isn't just you. You are not autism if you are diagnosed with something that is on that spectrum. And I feel that some people may think, or some people may label me as someone with Asperger's, and I don't want to be my disorder. I want it to help me become someone that I want to be. The current interpretation of autism spectrum disorder in the realm of biology is that of a pretty foggy one, and the few studies that they have made on this show that the the patterns of the brain and how psychologically we with autism spectrum disorder work is varying depending on each person who has it so they have not been able to find or pinpoint really what is causing it biologically so in the end everyone who has it is different and the best way to really change how people see it is not biologically but socially. Instead of people looking into the world of someone with autism spectrum disorder, they should not see them as someone who should have extra care for or someone with primarily negative symptoms, but instead someone with uh, a more intense drive to do what they love.